All right, so when I'm moving, I'm going to switch my feet up because I plan on moving from left to right. I'm going to lean, snap in, my intent's to fire. I fire those two, cross over, and settle. And you guys see, we can do it real nice and slow, focusing on not just the shooting ability, but also the movement. You should be taking all six rounds while moving. I don't want to see lean, static two, crossover, middle of the uh, step two. I want to see constant movement, which is kind of hard doing it nice and slow. But starting in front of 21 now, I snap up, I lean and get the body in motion. One, two, one, two, one, two. All right. Now, what is my sights doing? Pay attention and watch the actual targets itself. I'll have my laser on. You guys will be able to see where the target and the, the sights are actually coming in and how they are coming in. So like on the lean, sights come in. You guys see the laser. And as it comes in, it's coming in from where to where? Left to right. From left to right, because I'm a right-handed shooter. So as I swipe up, I'm leaning. And broke that round on the transition to the next target too soon. Again, for this high ready, lean, come in. And I'm not firing, I'm looking for information and because the targets are so close, where am I finding that information in? The actual optic itself, all right? Targets are super close. Now, if we had distance on those targets, we're obviously engaging the target, so I don't wanna come up, fire those two, look over top my optic, then come back in my optic to shoot two, then look over top my optic as I settle and, and shoot two again. Stay in your optic, you already shot. Now we're overloading the process of information while incorporating that lateral movement. One more time. All right, laser's still on. I uh, come up on the lean. And back, all right? We're gonna do this from left to right and right to left. I want you guys to take it slow at first. Even if you just have to just get the motions down, no shooting and count. Say one, two, crossover, one, two, settle, one, two, all right? actual wall itself so if you are you can't move as much left or right so if I run into a problem or I start getting shot at I look I locate I can't run as far that way as I want to get behind some cover or concealment I either have to dive into a room use a threshold or I have to move forward or back in that hallway because the confines are so tight and then if I'm working in a team guess what most like that team's doing the same exact thing fight or flight kicks in the human behavior takes over it's either push forward or push back so we're gonna be working both of those. Again, you should be training everything with those instincts, that human response, and what is what comes natural to us, that fight or flight instinct. So we're gonna be moving forward, and the dictation of movement is gonna be forward and straight back. Now, when we're engaging on the move, which you guys will get a command of shooters, prepare to move, move, you will be moving, processing information at a low cover of your target, all right? You'll already have that rifle established, rifle to shoulder connection established, and you'll be moving with a downward cover on your target, over top of your optic is where you'll be processing information at, not through a magnified optic or a one inch tube. Up until the point you get a signal of go, now you will come up, create sight alignment on sight picture, and you will break those five rounds as fast as you are accurate, able to accurately engage that target right there. All right, the goal is gonna be to remain all in the A zone, and obviously we're moving. So our optic is, and our dot is what? And our rail is, and our whole gun, and our whole body is also doing what? moving. So a lot of guys ask me, hey Rick, how do you get this dot to settle? I'm like, well, you're moving. It's not going to settle, but try to mitigate the wobble zone of movement. And when you were trying to mitigate the wobble zone of movement, if I stare at my finger, right? I stare at my finger, but I'm looking to trace your head, which is about the size of the A zone. That's why it shows your head, right? I'm looking at my finger and I'm trying to trace your head, right? As I move, if I'm staring at my finger, I'm trying to trace your head and I'm very aware that it is going all over the size of my finger, losing track of what is home. But if I stare at your nose and then drive my finger up and I lower my center of gravity, now it stays a lot more still, right? He's just watching my finger and the movement of it. Watch my finger again, watch the movement of my finger. And you guys are seeing that there's a lot more movement within as I close in on this gentleman. You're, you cannot be focused on the dot expecting to get the dot to settle. Now, instead, 
control the wobble zone by focusing on that same small miss small, the exact same techniques that we were talking about. What I want you to do is draw a big square, color it in, big circle, color it in, I don't care what you do, and then outline the A zone region of the A box, all right? Because that's the goal, that's the region I want to stay in and stay accountable to, all right? So my focus is there, but that's still not good enough. In order to get that dot settled, we have to understand biomechanics and how our bodies move. So the way I kind of demonstrate this with rifle and pistol is I could hold my hands out and now I'm going to walk like I would with my family inside of Costco. And you guys are seeing my hands are doing what? They're swaying left and right. If I hold my shoulders, watch the shoulder line, notice they're swaying left and right. So as I take a step, this shoulder does what? Goes back. As this foot takes a step, this shoulder goes back, which is left and right horizontal deviation of the actual uh, weapon system that I'm running, the sight solution that I'm using. So my dot is gonna be fighting that horizontal deviation. What did I say we've been practicing and refining in fundamental process recoil mitigation? We want that to be resetting and moving up and down, not left and right, all right? Up on the Y axis. So in order to do that, you have to lock your vision, lock your focus on something small. Look, thousand yard stare past that dot. Don't stare at like a little laser uh, in a little kitten chasing that laser. I want you to look at that dot and I want you to lower your center of gravity, find good balance. I want good heel toe steps and we have to narrow the gate of our hips. That gate of our hips dictates the swaying of our upper extremity. So if I put one foot in front of the other, notice no longer are my hands going left to right. And I didn't drop down, I just put one foot in front of the other. Again, hands up one foot in front of the other, and notice my hands are no longer going left or right. They're staying track center. Again, one foot in front of the other, and no longer are my hands running left or right like they would if I was opening up my gate. You guys see that? I start this way and then open up my gate like I'm walking with my family in Costco, and you guys see the swaying. So we have to narrow the gate because that dictates the swaying of our upper extremity, which is now connected to a rifle platform. All right? so. Lowering the center of gravity is nice to get adjusted and acclimated to the terrain you're associating with, get stopped, speed up, whatever you need to do. But we definitely need to put one foot in front of the other for the purpose of that left and right swaying of the gun. Now we'll have that vertical uh, deviation and I'll show you guys with the visible laser on my rifle exactly what my sight is actually doing. <clears throat> all right, so no shooting here. You guys all see the laser. All right, let's back off to back behind the barrel. All right. So this was after I already got that command to fire. I'm up in my optic. You guys see the laser? Now watch the laser as I'm staring at that dot and walking with my family in Costco. And you guys see, what is the laser doing? Left and right, even leaving the target to come back to the target. And then upon recoil, what is it gonna do? gonna look like an EKG, right? It's gonna look like a damn 12 lead. So instead I want to stay up on and I wanna narrow my gate by lowering my center of gravity, narrowing those gate, that gate and staying focused. Now what is my dot tracking within? The size of the A zone. That's simple. But if I look at that reticle, try to control the reticle, we're gonna have a lot of problems because that reticle to my face, 12 inches away. That reticle superimposed on my focus at target is seven yards away, all right? One more time. Lower my lower my center of gravity, good heel toe steps, and really cook it. And notice it's just wobbling within the size of target. All right, any questions over that? All right, and we stayed inside that A zone, staring focused at that, this black or this small spot that I can reference on the target. Now, moving backwards, again, over top the optic. Right. And now I need to figure out why it went left. Where was my elbow? My guy's to the left. Now, let's try it again. Bring that elbow in instead of out. Back up. Bring that elbow in on the way back out. Bring that elbow in. And you guys are seeing much better results, right? 